G'day guys, how's it going? Today uh, will be episode three of Learn That Solo. Today we're going to be looking at Better Raises by Children of Bodom. Hope you dig it. Before we get started, uh, the most important, noteworthy thing to mention is the tuning of uh, this particular Children of Boda song. Most of their songs are in D standard or drop C or even C sharp standard, I think, on this first album. Not important. Uh, the most important thing is that we're starting from the top string. It goes D, uh, G, C, F, A, D. So get yourself a tune and I'll meet you back here. Okay, now that we're in tune, uh, let's have a look at that first lick. Uh, it's kind of a bluesy idea. Starting with a bend on 14 of the third string. I'm doing a bend on 14, a flat finger on 12 of the first two. So I'm going bend on 14 of the third, and then the second, then the first. And then I end that on 15 of the second string. The second idea is very, very similar. This time I do a bend on 14, go to 12 of the second, bend on 14, 12 of the first. And at the end of that, I want to end on 15 of the second string again. Sort of go. So both of those two ideas back to back would be. Okay, the bit that follows that is 12 of the second string. I go 12, and then I do a bend on 14 of the third string, and then I hit two 12s at the end. So I guess. It's a bit strange, you kind of got that sound uh, like it's the same note four times. Anyway, we'll put those uh, three ideas together. We're going to go. Okay, let's have a look at the last bit. It goes. It's kind of that bluesy accidental vibe. I'm going from 15 of the third string to 12 of the second. And then I pull off 15 to 14. And then I hit the 12 and that was all on the third string. So it'll go. The end of that phrase, I want to do a slide from 14 to 16. Sort of go. So all together we're going to go. Okay, so we've just come out of... That's why I'd be doing a whammy drive if I had one, but I don't, you'll hear it on the record. Anyway, so I've just done that and it goes into this. Let's slow that down. I want to start from 15 of the first string and go 15, 14, 12, and then 16 of the string above. The bit that follows that, I go 15, sorry, 12, 14, 15, and then reverse it so it goes. So let's put those two ideas together. Okay, from that point, I've just ended on the 12. I want to slide from 15 to 19. And then just follow those dots down. 19, 17, 15. The last bit goes nice and diatonic. I'm starting from 20. And I go 20, 19, 17. And the same on the string above, which is the second string. And then that'll just end on 19 with my middle finger on the second string. Okay, let's have a look at the next section now. I'm starting from 17 of the second string and I go. Okay, so we'll do that a bit slower. I'm going 17, 19, 20, and then 19 of the first string. So from the second to the first. And at the end, I was going 20, 19, 20 on the second. Okay, let's have a look at the next bit. Up way high on 22. So I'm going from 22 to 20, then to 19. And then back to the 20 again. And then ending on 22 with the string above. So we're going. Okay. 
This bit's a big four finger adventure, so uh, be patient with this one. It just goes forwards and back, and we need all four fingers for this. Hopefully you've got a 24 fret guitar, I apologize if you don't. We're gonna go 19, 20, 22, 24, and then just reverse that. At the end of that, we go straight to the pinky. So from the pinky, I'm on 22, and then I've got a flat finger on 19 of the first two strings, so I go second first, and then third second. So you've got to do a lot of pointer rolling. So let's just do that last phrase from the four fingers into that arpeggio. Okay, let's try that whole section. Okay, let's have a look at the last section. We're on 19 of the first, and we go 19 to 24, and then 20 of the string above with my middle finger, and then back down to that 19. And the end of that little phrase there is 21 of the third string, back down to 20 of the second. The next bit that follows it is roughly the same idea down the octave. Well, it is the same idea down the octave, just the shapes are a little different. So I'm gonna go from 16 to 21, on the third string, and then I go to 17 to the fourth with my middle, and then drop back down onto that 16. And the last two notes of that phrase were 19 of the fifth to 17 of the fourth. Let's try those ideas back to back now. It's got a message, pretty cool. Anyway, let's finish this off. Uh, we've got a little arpeggio -y thing here. Goes from 16 of the third string, and I'm going to 17 of the second, so it goes. I'm going to sort of just your standard uh, normal arpeggio thingy there, so it goes. From 19, I'm going 19, 15, and then 17 of the string above and then 16 of the string above that, and then 17 of the string above that. So that is your stock standard arpeggio. At the end of that group, I got a 16 on the fourth string, so it goes. And then to finish that off, I go. So from the fourth string, I'm going 19, 17, 16, and then ending on 19 of the fifth. Alright, let's try those all those ideas back to back on the last section. And that's it, that's the better razor solo. Hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, look forward to teaching you guys some more stuff very soon. Don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys want to learn next. Take care.